Hi guys, welcome to 5mantra.com. This is Kalyan and today our class is about uh, I mean about the concept, new concept of one more con combination of three circles. Okay, so let us do that. Now, let us see one different case in mensuration. What it is? Just look at the board. Now, here in this uh, radius of the each circle in the given diagram is capital R then find out the area of the red color shaded region red color shaded region in the sense this middle portion we need to find it out ok let, let us see how to find out uh, before going to this uh, how the question will be given to you means they will say for example they will say you that in the given diagram uh, I mean radius of each circle is 2 centimeters and circle, all the circles are congruent and each uh, all the circles are in uh, circles are arranged in such a way that each such uh, each circle touches another two in that case we need to find out the area of that red colored shaded region means between portion that middle portion how to find it out so here we have to look at the uh, I mean we have to observe this question ok this is our part now let us let us see how to do that see guys when we are doing this kind of questions we uh, like uh, directly we can't do this question because even those students especially who are coming from non maths background on, the, on seeing this question only they will be spellbound so they don't get the answer uh, leave about the answer at least they don't get the thought also why because what to do and uh, how we get the answer for this shape and what is the shape at least they don't identify when we don't identify the shape how can we be able to do the answer so it's quite impossible for the students who directly want to do this problem without doing any analysis now a little bit analysis is required what kind of analysis is required let us see for these kind of figures directly uh, directly with the uh, by applying the formulas we don't get the answer now what we have to do here is we have to do some inner constructions and thereby we need to get some shape and then after we need to analyze the shape and then we get the answer how to analyze this just see here for example i'll take a see let us suppose these circles are centers are this one and this one and this one these are the centers of circles then what do we do here now this center this is a center and this is radius or not now again this is one more radius and this is again one more radius and this is again one more radius now this is these are two ready more ok these all are three lines formed here let us write down the radi radius also like for example this is radius this is also same radius this is also same radius these all are having same radius because it is given in the uh, figure that it is given in the question that all the circles are of equal radius so all the uh, circles are of equal radius then we need to find out the shaded region in between them now first of all we have to understand that so what is the figure formed by joining all the ready ok what is the figure formed by joining all the ready let us see what kind of figure is this is it look like it now looks like a triangle or not what looks like it it's a triangle only what kind of triangle then like now see here here r and r two radius are combined together to form the side of the triangle or not here r and r is a radius uh, sorry r and r 2r 2r is a side or not here r and r 2r is a side or not here also 2r is a side or not so all sides are 2r 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 that means all the sides are equal when all the sides are equal what kind of the uh, triangle is formed over there equilateral or not certainly equilateral triangle only 
Okay, that's the first thing I identified or not? Now let us go for further analysis. What it is? Let us see. See, uh, when we are seeing such kind of diagrams, we shouldn't do. Uh, see, we shouldn't take uh, all the diagram together. It looks uh, a bit clumsy. We don't need to consider all the diag uh, diagram at a time. It looks a bit clumsy. Then we need to separate the required portion from the uh, given diagram. Let us do that. What do we get? Okay, let us see what happens. See, I am separating this portion from here to here. I am plotting again. See, is it look like this or not? Where this length is 2r and this length is 2r and this length also is 2r. Right? These all are two R's only, you no? Know? Right. So this uh, these all are two R's. So it's an equilateral triangle. Now, how to now, now what is given here? Is this this is a shape or not? Like this, I'm separating this is and like this and like this. Now the red color shaded region would be like this or not? This is the red colored shaded region. This is red colored shaded region. And we need to find out this or not. This one only now. So we don't need this remaining circle part which is on the external side. That is a given diagram. Leave about that. Now we extracted means we separated the diagram which is required to do the problem. Now this is sufficient or not? Sufficient. Now we have to find out. So here it is clearly seen that if you subtract the unshaded region from the total triangle, from the total triangle, unshaded region is subtracted, then shaded will, will be remained or not. That's it. Then we have to find out first triangle area we can find. Why? Because triangle area we can find because we, we know the uh, formula for to find out. Uh, the area of equilateral triangle that is 3 by root 3 by 4 a square. But here what are the next shapes? Let me draw one of this. See this is one, one of them. This is one of them. This is one of them. What does, what does this shape represents? Just let us separate this and I will draw this. Is it look like this or not? That's it. See what is, what the, what is that shape? Is it a sector or not? sector now tell me the, so we need to find out the area of the triangle and we need to find out the area of three sectors this is one sector this is one sector and this is another sector so we need to find out the areas of three sectors and areas of three sectors combinedly it should be subtracted from area of equilateral triangle then we get the required shaded region or, or not that's it we can get the shaded region. So how to how to do them? So to find out what to find out the sector area, what the measurements are required. Tell me, is this a radius or not? Tell me, is this a radius or not? See, this is a radius, na? Okay, this is a radius. So this is two R. Now, what are the measurements required to find out the area of sector? One is sector angle, another one is sector radius. When angle and radius are given, we can find out the area of sector. Sure. Now we need we have radius r for each sector. Okay, radius is r for each of the sector. So radius is given. So we have to find we have to get the angle. As we said, this triangle is equilateral. What is the ang each angle of equal triangle? From the basic properties of geometry, we might have studied that in, a, in an equal triangle, all the sides are equal as well as all the angles are also equal. Where sum of the angles is 180, means 180 is distributed to e equal into three parts. Means each angle would be 60, 60, 60. So what can be the each angle? Tell me this angle can be 60. And this angle can be 
60 and this angle can be 60. Now we have angle of sector and radius of sector also. So we can find out area of sectors also. One more thing here angle of each sector is 60 means angles of all the sectors are same or not same radius of all the sectors is same or not same why because all the circles are equal and radii are equal so here three sectors of equal radii and equal angles are given in the diagram getting so once again tell you so here here three sectors of equal radii and equal angles are given so here we need to only find out area of one sector and make it three times find out three times of it uh, then we get all the three uh, three areas that's it so here what is our next step so uh, to get the shade area we need to subtract the three sectors area minus what triangle area or not that's all so here what we have to do now what we had now so here we have to find out first area of the triangle area of triangle what is area of triangle boss here a, a, is here triangle is in the shape of equilateral and what is the area of equilateral triangle root 3 by 4 times of a square where a is side of a triangle a is side of a triangle then root 3 by 4 a square and a means here side where side is equal to double the radius here so 2 r a square means 2 r whole square now what can we do here root 3 by 4 ok into 2 square 4 r square so how much is that 4 can be cancelled and root 3 r square now tell me what is the area of triangle root 3 r square where r is radius here ok now what we have to find area of the sector area of the sector if, if uh, uh, let me remind you what is area of sector here if sector is given angle is given as some theta and its radius is given as some r or capital or whatever then what is the formula to find out the area of sector theta by 360 times of pi r square this is the formula to find out sector area so let us find out here the angle angle made by each sector is 60 degrees means uh, area area of uh, area at each corner is 60 degrees and radius is capital r then we can find out the area of the area of each uh, sector also right let us find it out area of sector area of each sector area of each sector is how much x by 360 times of pi r square so i mean theta by 360 times of pi r square here theta value would be how much 60 so 60 degrees by 360 degrees of pi each radius is capital R square now what would what it would be 66 r or not that is 1 by 6 pi r square so what we can uh, what we could obtain till now we obtained first area of the triangle then we find area of each sector out of 3 okay out of given three sectors like this you can look at this this sector this sector this sector means this one this one this one three second in three three sectors out of three sectors one sector area would be this one now what we have to do we have to subtract area of the triangle uh, area of the three sectors from area of the triangle to find out the shade now let us find it out so area of triangle equal to root 3 r square and now area of uh, area of uh, each sector is how much we said 1 by 6 pi r square 
how many such sectors are taken three or not so three sectors area would be three times of areas of sector so that means in 2 3 we do when in, when we are multiplying with 3 3 can be cancelled with 2 so what is your final answer pi r square by 2 this is the area of three sectors once again i am telling you first one area of the triangle is root 3 r square and area of the three sectors sum of the areas of three sectors each one is pi r square by 6 and three times of that would be area sum of the areas of all the sectors that is pi r square by 2 now we have to get the shade area means we have to subtract the three sectors from one triangle so in order to get area of shade equal to what root 3 r square minus this pi r square by 2 is a uh, this pi r square by 2 is no, uh, nothing nothing but uh, area of the three sectors so pi r square by 2 so what can be your answer then i mean finally you can take common r square then what will be left inside root 3 minus pi by 2 r square taken common so what is your final answer then root 3 minus pi by 2 r square that would be your final answer for this question which is representing just a shade in between the circles okay so what is that value root 3 minus pi by 2 r square There's a lot of students came to me when in the classes and they asked me that okay sir we understood all the procedure but we are coming from non mass background so how can we solve within the within the fraction of seconds if we are unknown to these all concepts just uh, try please give us one shortcut for this there are no uh, ready made shortcuts just from the la this last step only we can obtain one shortcut which can be more powerful how for example root 3 equal to what is the value of root 3 1.732 taking 1.73 is a value pi value 3.14 by 2 means after substituting this as 1.73 and this uh, this the pi value as minus 3.14 by 2 this value can be further simplified to r square value can be further simplified simplifying this so total value we get 0 0.16 means finally this is 0 0.16 r square which is the finest shortcut in this case to find out the answer of shaded region area of the shaded region once again telling you guys this is all the procedure this is all procedure procedure in the sense first we need to understand this concept in proper way now we did that what we did here we find the area of the triangle we find the area of the each sector and we subtracted the three sectors area from area of the triangle and we got the area of the shade means when three sectors are subtracted removed from that this shaded region will be left so that is our uh, that is our question and we, uh, we did like this this entire process and for a non math students it will take some time to do this problem or not it will take obviously some time at that time what we have to do we can never involve a lot a lengthy procedure in the competitive examinations because hardly duration for one one bit is just 50 to 60 seconds if you have 50 answer within the 40 to 50 seconds it will be healthy if within the less than one minute if you want to do the answer if you put this many steps then you get the can you get the answer no so at that time what we have to do while the studying period means at the time of coaching or at the time of your studying preparing preparation for the examination at that time only we have to do the analysis like this and we need to prepare the ready made or instant answer like this i mean like this which is most powerful shortcut so finally what and all given i don't know uh, what and all is given let's leave about that final answer would be root 3 minus pi by 2 into capital r square or if a answer won't be given to you in terms of pi then finest answer in the numerical terms is 
0.16 R square, which is the more powerful, most powerful shortcuts to find the answers in this case. For the sake of non-math students, once again a, a brief explanation of this case I am giving you right now. What it is? Three circles are arranged in such a way that each th touches another two. Get my point? Each touches another two. Each touches means this circle is touching these two. This circle is touching these two. This circle is touching these two. Getting? So that means here uh, they, these are arranged in such a way that uh, Okay, arranged in such a way that each is touching another two, then we need to find out the area, area occupied in between the circles, that is shaded region given in the diagram. Area in between the circles, which is this gap, red gap. At that time, how to do the problem means what we did, first we joined the centers of the circles. What we did, we joined the centers of all the circles like this, this center, this center and this center, this center, this center and this center. When we joined all the centers of the circle, then a triangular portion is obtained. Now in order to make it, uh, make this, uh, avoid the confusion, we separated this tri triangular portion here. Then what the things are, uh, what are the shapes obtained in this? This is whole equilateral triangle because all the sides came same. Okay, and here all the all the sectors are also equal because here equilateral triangle corner angle would be area, uh, I mean sector angle for each sector, then each angle is 60 degrees and the each sector radius is R and the a, uh, length of the side of the triangle is 2R, then we need to find out the area of the shade, for that what we need to do, area of the triangle we have to find, we, uh, we got it. And area of each sector we need to find and we got it as 1 by 6 pi r square. And we need to find, subtract the 3 sector areas means it should be multiplied with 3. Then we are whole getting value is 3 by pi r square by 2. In order to get the uh, uh, shade, shade area, 3 sectors area should be subtracted from triangle area. And that answer would be your fin finally root 3 minus pi by 2 into r square. If the answer in given in terms of pi, but if if answer is not given in terms of pi, lot of students for non math students, I am telling you the finest finally simplified value is putting root three equal to one point seven three and pi equal to three point one four by two. Simplifying this all term, we get zero point one six. You can do it at, in your notebook. Okay, then we are getting final final answer is 0.16 r square. I think everyone would have understood this problem. Now, my uh, my uh, my intention is to say you that while doing the practice, while uh, while preparation, uh, I mean at the preparation mode of the examination, we should analyze like this. Otherwise. By, by, by applying the blind shortcuts every time if the problem may not, may not be worked out every time the direct data may not, may, may not be given at that time you should not go for blind shortcut you should understand first the uh, process of that you need to understand the technique behind that and finally keep the result in your mind and apply the shortcut whenever you are getting the same, uh, same case in the exam getting or not so finally before uh, uh, before going to the numericals of this short uh, uh, numericals based upon this case numericals in the sense problems or exercise on this case i am going to once again say that when three circles of equal ready are arranged in such a way that each touches another two then the area uh, area occupied in between the circles that gap is finally 0.16 r square where r is the radius of each circle or if answer is given in terms of pi the final answer would be root 3 minus pi by 2 into r square if answer is given left in pi then we can leave it like this this now when after analyzing like this i am telling you do not apply this 0.16 r square directly first you understand after seeing this video or after, after listening to the same technique with every one of your faculty, any one of your faculty. Okay. First, understand this technique. Then, 
at the time of doing the problem at the time uh, at the time of the exam in the time of exam when you are getting the same problem don't do uh, don't involve this all the process don't do the all process just uh, you can substitute the value of radius in place of r in 0.16 r square you get the answer you know it's a very powerful technique why because if you if you involve this much of process it will take minimum for five, uh, five to six minutes even for non math students it will take more than seven or eight minutes also but if you apply this uh, final technique of 0.16 r square within fraction of seconds less than five seconds you get the answer if you are good at calculation hope you guys understood this so finally your uh, shortcut is 0.16 r square so after seeing all this explanation what is your uh, what we have to keep finally in our mind finally we have to keep only one thing what is the result we have to keep that in your mind because that will be useful to save the time in your examination what it is when, uh, when three circles are in, arranged in such a way that each touches another two each touches another two then area of the shaded region in between them in between them would be finally what is area of the shaded region root 3 minus pi by 2 times of r square okay or 0.16 r square we can put a, a, we can write any one of them according to the given option if the option is given in, in terms of pi you can apply this if answer is given in terms of some finally numerical value you can directly take this this is the most powerful technique in this case hope you guys would have enjoyed this concept uh, guys so please uh, subscribe our channel to get more concepts like this we are trying to give you more, more and more concepts from mathematics uh, about CGL and CHSL like this. Okay, keep in touch with us guys. Thank you very much.